All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today's video is most likely gonna be a little bit controversial or at least more controversial than my average video and I can definitely see some people out there disagreeing with some of the assessments and comments and opinions that I express here. And by the way, that point is very, very important. All right, most of the things that I say in this video are gonna be my own personal opinion. And if you guys, you know, don't agree with something or see things a different way, that's totally, totally fine. Let me know in the comments down below where our opinions differ and I would love to read about them. All right, so essentially what we're doing here is breaking down and ranking what is, in my opinion, the worst to the best of the four Vegito Blues that are currently available in the game. And if you guys don't know which units I'm talking about, maybe you're a new player or you're just coming back, uh, the first one is the free-to-play STRLR Vegito Blue. We also have the Tech Vegito Blue, and then there's the Fizz Vegito Blue, which is the oldest of the four, but with a brand new Extreme Z Awakening on Global. And finally, we have the Tech LR Vegito Blue from the five year anniversary on JP. All right, so without further ado, why don't we jump right into it and go in order, starting with the STR Vegito Blue first. So of course, as I said, he is a free to play unit, the only free to play unit on this entire list. As far as damage output goes, he's, I mean, we'll definitely get into specific numbers later on in this video, but I'll just tell you right now, I know for a fact that he does have the lowest average damage output of all the units on this list, but that's not to say that he doesn't do good damage because he definitely does, man. I've seen him get easily close to like 4 million attack stat and on average about 3 to 3.5 million so very very good damage from him especially for a free to play unit but he just doesn't stack up quite as well against the other Vegito Blues on this list all right so good damage output and also defensively he starts off pretty good but after a few supers with the 12 key super right here he stacks defense pretty quickly so on longer events like the legendary goku event or the infinite dragon ball history event he is very very good you just got to make sure to get that 12 key every single time and he'll have a lot of defense by the end of the event and uh, as far as key goes he's actually very very self-sufficient for key giving himself up to 10 key depending on how much HP you have left. And he also has a very, very good link set too. The only thing that's missing here, of course, is Fierce Battle. He has Shattering the Limit, which is very unfortunate. But aside from that, he does have a very good overall link set with Prepare for Battle, Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, and even Shattering the Limit isn't that bad. It's just not as good as Fierce Battle, right? But with this link set, he is able to link quite well with a lot of units on his categories, like Rumble Gods, especially Patara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, and uh, also Last Resort. So uh, yeah, STR, LR, Vegito Blue, just a really, really good unit overall, especially for a free-to-play unit. And if you're a new player and you don't know, you know, or you're wondering if he's worth the time to grind for the medals, definitely do it, man. He is so freaking good. So. That is the first Vegito Blue on this list. Now we're going to move on to the Tech Vegito Blue. And this dude's main calling card, the thing that he's known for, is definitely just raw damage, right? For the longest time, he was known as the hardest hitting TUR in the entire game until actually recently when he was dethroned by another unit on this list which we'll get to in just a second but uh yeah even though he's no longer the hardest hitting tur in the game he still is the i believe second hardest hitting tur which means he still outputs a massive massive amount of damage with uh, the ability to also raise attack and defense on every super but the main thing is that because he gets um, up to two additional attacks per turn, each of which has a medium chance to become a super attack. In theory, with dupes, he can super up to four times per turn, and each time he attacks, he gets 15% attack, so after a couple of turns, 
he's just gonna be doing crazy damage, man. And he's just a lot of fun to use, especially on those turns when he's doing like 2 million plus damage with each super, and he supers like 3 or 4 times. Uh, this dude's awesome. And the even crazier thing is that he is an almost 2 year old unit on global, and actually over 2 years on JP. So for a card that is that old, he has definitely aged really, really well. Now the issue with this guy is his defense, all right? And even though he raises defense every time he supers, and he actually supers pretty often, right? He just doesn't build up defense fast enough on harder events like the legendary Goku event for you to feel safe about putting him in front of a lot of attacks, right? Especially on Super Battle Road, where you don't have as many turns to stack defense. Um, he is definitely a liability, all right? He's gonna be doing a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. So he kind of makes up for the lack of defense, but he's just not very tanky, like at all, even with the raising of defense every time he supers. So that's definitely one issue I see with him. Um, but uh, aside from that, oh, and his link set is good, but he's missing prepare for battle, which means that as far as a linking partner goes, there is going to be some issues on some of his teams. And for that reason, I actually bring the STR LR Vegito Blue more often than the Tech Vegito Blue because of links. That's actually a deal breaker for me. A lot of times when I don't have a unit to like link well with him on that team, I most likely won't bring him. All right. So uh, that is one other flaw. But I mean, just from a pure offensive damage output perspective, this dude is still insane. We're going to move on now to the, I guess, technically oldest Vegito Blue, but also newest Vegito Blue because of the EZA that just came out a couple days ago on Global. And I mean, I've said a lot about him in my videos over the past couple of days, but I just can't get enough of this unit, man. It is so freaking amazing. Um, he just, he's so good. He is so good. Kudos to Bandai, kudos to Akatsuki for actually making him as good as we wanted him to be and maybe even a little bit better than people wanted or were expecting him to be. I kept my expectations quite low and I was just blown away when I actually saw the details and then was able to test this guy out. Even though he only gets attack and defense plus 40% on his passive, which you know on paper just seems very very low, um, the fact that he gets up to what is it, 19,137 attack at rainbow status, and the fact that he launches up to two additional attacks, he also greatly raises attack when he supers, and uh, of course, when you factor in the counters too, he's doing just crazy damage, man. When you add up all those supers and you add up all the counters, his damage output makes him the hardest hitting TUR, like on average in the entire game. We'll get into the specifics in a second, like I said, the actual calculations done by some members of the Dokkan community. Um, but this dude hits seriously hard, man, and he is just so much fun to use on basically every event in the game, whether it's the Legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, just a regular Dokkan event, or Super Battle Road. He basically dominates all of them. Okay, so just an amazing overall unit and a good link set as well. Prepare for battle, fierce battle over a flash, Super Saiyan, um, Fuse Fighter. I think overall he probably has the best link set of all four Vegito Blues too. So that's something that's going for him. And of course, he still has the damage reduction against normal attacks up to 40% this time from the 30% before. And of course, the counters. Now, one issue with this unit, which has been somewhat resolved but not completely is the fact that he still really is um, kind of vulnerable against super attacks. Now it has been fixed a little bit because when he supers he greatly raises defense so if he supers once or twice or even three times in that turn and then he takes a super then he's going to be tanking that super a lot better. Now it's not going to be amazing. Like the damage is not going to be as devastating as it used to be, but of course, if you put him in the first slot and he gets supered before he's able to do any attacks, then yeah, it's still going to hurt quite a bit. But I do think that it is a big improvement from before. And I mean, if that's the only flaw he has out of like a million other amazing things, then I think it's totally, totally fine. All right. So 
there's the Fizz Vegito Blue Easy A. And last but not least, let's talk about the Tech LR Vegito Blue. I know he starts as a base Vegito, but let's be honest, this is the form that we all really care about. And um, I mean, what can I say about this guy? He is insane. He is so freaking busted. 77% uh, attack and defense at the start of the turn and then launches a guaranteed additional super. So with dupe investment, up to three supers per turn, but two of them are guaranteed every single turn, getting stronger with every single attack. Attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed, up to key plus five, and attack and defense plus 77%. And then he also can be very good defensively. If you want to put him in the third slot, he has a high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. And on top of that, um, even without the dodging ability, he just has a very solid amount of defense uh, by himself. I think on average, you're looking at about 150 to 200,000 defense. So while he's not on the same level as dedicated tanks like the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Golden Frieza, so on and so forth, he's still going to be a very, very respectable tank on most events. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful, I think, on the final stage of the Legendary Goku event with the type disadvantage, and a super will still hit you for quite a bit. But that being said, um, he's going to be able to tank most attacks really, really well. And of course, from a damage perspective, he is one of, I believe, he is either in like the top three or he might be the hardest hitting unit in the game right now with the double super, with the uh, stacking of attack and defense up to 77%. And uh, of course, yo, how can I forget about the active skill, which is a huge boost to his overall damage output as well. This is basically a finisher because uh, most enemies, with the exception of um, you know the legendary Goku event and the infinite Dragon Ball history event, most enemies are not going to be able to survive this uh, active skill. And it also looks freaking amazing too. So even though it doesn't really factor into how good he is as a unit, it's definitely a very nice bonus. And um, as far as his links go, I think he has very similar links to the Tech TUR Vegito, which means unfortunately he does not have prepared for battle. Very, very unfortunate. He still has Fierce Battle, of course, Super Saiyan um, over in a flash, which is nice, but I just wish they gave him prepare for battle. It would have been really, really nice. Yo, just, just scrap Legendary Power, man. I know Legendary Power has to be on every single LR. That's just how it is, but it's not a good link. It's not a good link. So unless they're gonna update this link to make it a, a percentage-based attack boost, even like 10% would be really good, right? But uh, yeah, just scrap Legendary Power, give him, give him prepare for battle, and he would be perfect, all right? So yeah, just a ridiculous, ridiculous unit overall. And there is the Tech LR Vegito Blue. Now, one last thing we're gonna do before we get into my personal rankings of the four Vegito Blues in this game is take a quick look at some of the damage calculations done by a very well-respected and well-known member of the Dokkan subreddit, Kariru2. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I got it wrong, then I really apologize, but all credit for these calculations go to Kariru2. And we're gonna start with the Tech Vegito Blue. So this is a list of the hardest hitting TURs in the game from a couple months ago. And as you can see at number one, we have the Tech Vegito Blue with a average attack per turn on the Realm of Gods team with 170% double leads of 6,627,855. Now that right there is an absolutely massive number all right just for reference we're going to move on to the str lr vegeto blue who as you guys know hits very hard in his own right but compared to the tech vegeto blue he only has an attack per turn of 3,837,250 now obviously defensively the free to play lr vegeto blue is much better than the tech vegeto blue but I mean, when it comes to damage, it's not even comparable, man. With the additional supers and also the attack increase with every attack, um, Tech TUR Vegito Blue way out damages the LR STR Vegito Blue on average. Now, moving on to the Fizz Vegito Blue, and just for additional impact, you already saw that 
This guy hits super hard. He still hits really hard, but not as hard. But both of these guys don't come close to the Fizz Vegito Blue, who has an attack per turn of 10,672,002, making him the new hardest hitting TUR in the entire game by a pretty freaking wide margin. And of course, this is factoring in his counters, his additional supers, the greatly raising attack on supers, and uh, also the supports, of course, on the team. This is under a Patar team, um, a double Super Vegito leads, 170%, of course, 10,672,002 compared to 3.8 million and 6.6 .6 million, which was the previous hardest hitting TUR. It's pretty interesting that the only unit, the only character that could dethrone Vegito Blue was Vegito Blue himself. So there you go guys. Insane, insane damage output. And finally, I know you guys have been waiting for this. We have the Tech LR Vegito Blue who comes in with a whopping 11 million 840,795 attack per turn, which is about a million more than the Fizz Vegito Blue. So he is overall, on average, the hardest hitting Vegito Blue in the entire game, but I don't think that really comes as a surprise to anybody. Um, even though he doesn't have the counters like the Fizz Vegito Blue, he just does so much damage with his supers and having two additional supers also helps and building up attack, especially for like that much attack for an LR unit is just ridiculous. So I'm not surprised that he's the hardest hitting Vegito Blue in the game, but I am surprised that it's that close, honestly, between the Fizz Vegito Blue and the LR Tech Vegito Blue, all right? So um, those are the attack numbers right there between the four Vegitos. As far as damage output goes, it goes STR Vegito Blue, um, Tech TUR Vegito Blue, and Fizz Vegito Blue with the EZA, and then finally the uh, Tech LR Vegito Blue. So now it's the moment of truth where we are going to actually rank the four Vegito Blues from what is, in my opinion, emphasis on my opinion, is the worst Vegito Blue to the best Vegito Blue. And um, this is the part I think that's gonna be a little bit controversial. As I said, if you guys disagree with me, feel free to let me know why in the comments down below. I would love to read about your opinions. And at number four on this list of the worst Vegito Blue, who is still a really, really amazing unit, we have the Tech Vegito Blue. Now this might have come as a surprise to some of you, and honestly, I kind of surprised myself as well when I made this list because I honestly thought that I was gonna be picking the STR LR Vegito Blue for number four, but after thinking about it a little bit more, I feel like overall, the STR LR Vegito Blue is actually better than the Tech Vegito Blue because even though this dude hits super, super hard, I don't think damage output is everything. And when you factor in the STR Vegito Blue's uh, defensive capability, his self-sufficiency for key, and also his link set that uh, actually allows him to link better with a lot of units in this game, like the reason why I don't bring the Tech Vegito Blue on a lot of teams, even though he's super fun to play with and super fun to run, is that he just doesn't link well with a lot of the units on his teams, especially when it comes to like Future Saga or Time Travelers or something like that, where you don't have a lot of units with Over and a Flash. Uh, if you don't have Over and a Flash or Fuse Fighters, then he's not gonna be getting any key links, right? And when it's a struggle to get supers off with the unit and also the supers of the other units he's linked with, it just makes it a lot less fun and a lot less appealing to run that unit, you know what I mean? So when you take into consideration the link set and also the lack of defense compared to the uh, STR LR Vegito Blue, I will have to put the Tech Vegito Blue at number four on this list, but don't get me wrong, just because he's at the bottom of this list doesn't mean he's not an amazing unit, because he still is, right? He still is the second hardest hitting TUR in the game. He's still a phenomenal unit on a lot of events, still super fun to use, 
I just don't think he's as good as the other Vegito Blues. So obviously if this guy's number 4, then number 3 is the STR Vegito Blue. I just love the fact that he is very good defensively. He also is very self-sufficient for key. So it's very easy to get the 24 or at least 18 key super off with him. And uh, he's also free to play, which doesn't necessarily factor in here, but it's also a nice bonus. And of course, very solid link set to link with his other allies. All right, so number four, Tech Vegito Blue. Number three, STR LR Vegito Blue. And for number two, now I had to think about this pretty hard and it wasn't a easy decision, but I think I will actually put at number two on the list of the best Vegito Blues in the game, Fizz Easy A Vegito Blue. Now, even though this Easy A is absolutely amazing in almost every single way, I mean, he's definitely the best Easy A we've ever seen in the history of the game so far, and he might be the best TUR in the game right now. It's a bit of a toss up between him and STR Cooler. I personally think that he's better than STR Cooler, but that's just me. And he is undoubtedly the hardest hitting. TUR currently available in the game by quite a bit, right? So yeah, he's just amazing. He also has a almost perfect link set. The counters are insane. I love the additional supers. All that stuff is great. But that being said, I do think that the Tech LR Vegito Blue is just slightly better. All right, slightly better. Now it's actually closer than a lot of people might assume because I think some people out there just think, oh, this is the newest Dokkan Fest LR from the five year anniversary. He's gotta be way better than the, you know, only TUR Fizz Vegito Blue. Even though he's got an easy A, I mean, the LR has gotta be better, right? And I do think that's a case, but I don't think he's like insanely better. I just think he's a little bit better. And the main reason I say that is, well, there's two reasons. One is that even though he doesn't have counters, he still hits harder on average than the Fizz Vegito Blue Easy A. And also defensively, he's gonna be more consistent than the Fizz Vegito Blue. So even though he doesn't have the counters, of course, um, he does have a very high average defense. And of course, if you wanna put him in the third slot, he also has a high chance of evading attacks where, of course, if you get the, the dodge, then you don't take any damage at all, right? So I think defensively, he is gonna be a lot more consistent in the Fizz Vegito Blue and he hits harder. So for those two reasons, as I said, it's a close call. I am gonna give the victory the number one spot for the best Vegito Blue in the game to the Tech LR Vegito Blue. And I think we're gonna have some interesting discussions in the comments about this because I do think there's a legitimate argument to be made that the Fizz Vegito Blue is better because of the counters, because of the damage reduction for normal attacks, and uh, because he actually starts off like doing his maximum damage, whereas the uh, LR Tech Vegito Blue actually starts off as a base form Vegito Blue and in this form even though he's still good for a summonable LR he's not like super impressive right he's just good but once he transforms he becomes absolutely insane. Now of course that is something I also took into consideration when I was ranking the Vegito Blues the fact that he doesn't start off at his full power but his transformation happens on the fourth turn of the fight, which depending on how your rotations work out and are set up at the beginning of the battle, the fourth turn could literally be like the second or third appearance for this guy on your rotation. So if you're running one of the longer Dokkan events, like one of the newer ones, or the legendary Goku event, Infinite Dragon Ball History, or even Super Battle Road, you're still gonna be seeing Vegito Blue quite often. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. And uh, oh, one last thing, of course, is the fact that the LR Vegito Blue has an active skill, which does a crazy amount of damage, and is also super clutch. Like, it saved my ass on Super Battle Road and the Legendary Goku event on JP more times than I can count already. So this is definitely a very, very strong point in favor of the LR Vegito Blue over the Fizz Vegito Blue, all right? so. There you go guys, those are my opinions. That is my list. Number four is the Tech Vegito Blue. 
Number three is the LR STR Vegito Blue. Uh, number two is the Fizz EZA Vegito Blue. And at number one for the title of the best Vegito Blue in the game, in my opinion, we have the newest Vegito Blue, the Tech LR Vegito Blue. All right, so once again, all my opinions, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, whether or not you agree with my ranking. And if you don't agree, then tell me why, all right? I would love to read those comments. And uh, that's it, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch it, to click on this video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic Fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.